Okay, so I was asked a question the other day and it was a pretty straightforward one, but I did think to myself, well, it's not really that obvious, the answer. The question was, if someone sends me an email with photos attached and I want to forward just a few of those photos on to somebody else, I don't want to forward all, the, all of them, how do I do that? Well, this video is going to explore how you can forward just some photos and not all the photos that someone has sent you on to someone else. If you're watching this video as a short, tap on the thumbnail in the bottom right hand corner right now to see the full video. If you're already watching the full video, hold tight, more details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So as I say, we all know how to forward an email. And if you don't, let's just go through it. So all you do is you literally open up the email which I've got it open at the moment and click on the forward button, which is usually in Gmail down the bottom, or it could be along the bar at the top of the screen. This is normally denoted by an arrow pointing towards the right. And literally all you do is you just click on that arrow or forward. It's then going to ask you who you want to send it to. So click into two and then just type the person's email address. Then once you've done that, just click on send. But what if you didn't want to send all of the attachments on to somebody else? What if you wanted to take a couple of the, the photos out of the, the email? Well, just forward it as you normally would. But before you click on send, all you need to do is find the photos that you don't want to send. So if you can't see the photos, then just click on the attachment and hopefully it should open up. Or if it doesn't, like in the case of Google, it will try and re-download it again. I've got the three photos up here. And if I move my mouse over it, it actually tells us the file name for each photo. So these two photos here, I don't want, I don't want to send them on to anybody else. So these are photos and the file name is at the top, IMG underscore 0251 and IMG underscore 0252. But I do want to send this one and that one's IMG 0394. So I'm only going to leave IMG 0394 in the attachments below. As you can see, I've got X's just to the right of each file name. And when I move a mouse over them, it says remove attachment. If you don't have X's by the, uh, beside the attachment, then just try right clicking on the attachment and you may well find it comes up with an option to be able to remove the attachment. So like I say, I'm doing this in Gmail, so I'm just going to click on the crosses just to the right of the ones I don't want. So it's 0251 image underscore 0251 and image underscore 0252. So let's just delete those there. There you go. The one I want to leave is 0394. So there you go. That's left there. And then all I do is just simply click on the send button. And what that will do is that will send the email onto my friend just with the one picture. And that is this one here, the IMG 0394, the picture of the fox and the pool. Let's just have a quick look how you remove attachments in Outlook. So again, I've just clicked on the forward. There it is. And if I right click on any attachments, there you go. I've got remove attachment. If I want to see what the attachment is, just double left click on it and it opens the picture. And as I say, any ones you want to get rid of, just click on the right mouse button. That's the button on the right hand side of the mouse, not the left. Go down to rem remove attachment, left click. And there you go. That takes that picture out. So what if you're using Outlook.com or Hotmail or live email addresses, then what you can do is you can just literally, as again, click on the forward button and then move your mouse over the picture or pictures you want to remove. Click on the little drop down arrow and click on remove attachment and just keep doing that until you've removed all the attachments that you you simply don't want. So there you go. That guide showed you how you can forward emails with photos and remove some of those photos within the emails before you forward them. I hope you like this video. And if you did, then why not help support this channel? If you're in the market for a VPN, a Fire Stick or Fire Stick accessories, have a look in the description of this video. We've got some great deals for you. And buying using these links in the description down below really does help support this channel. It helps me to dedicate more time to researching and bringing you 
these helpful videos. And don't forget, whilst you're at my YouTube channel, I've got thousands of other helpful videos right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully, whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money.